What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Other Solutions and today we're talking about Apex Legends Season 14. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Season 14 is here and it's brand new and a lot of people are having issues with FPS loss and just in general not having a smooth gameplay experience. Now I'm going to make this video as short as possible as I can uh, to show you how to get better FPS in the game, make the game run better and have a smooth gameplay experience. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your search button over here and just type in settings just like this just like this and press enter and go to update and security i highly recommend you go ahead and do this on a regular basis please just go ahead and do this if you're watching this video right now go ahead and check for updates for your windows it's really really crucial for your machine to stay up to date as much as your games get updated and gets to new seasons and all those things it's highly recommended to keep your windows up to date once you're done with that you're going to go to privacy over here and you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says background apps like this and you're going to switch this from on to off just like this it's very easy and simple to do because these things are going to run in the background of your machine and it's going to use resources like your ram your cpu not that much really much of your gpu but your cpu and ram it's going to be using in the background while you are playing apex legends so go ahead and switch this off or you can put them off individually depending on which ones you use but i do recommend you just do this and switch them all off go to home and then you're going to go to gaming over here and then game mode now for a lot of people out there if you switch this on it might help you M maybe have better fps or less input latency whatever the case might be try it out for my machine my personal rig that i'm running when i switch this off it does nothing when i switch it on it does nothing literally it doesn't do anything okay once you're done with that you are going to go here to search and type in device manager just like this and go to device manager it's going to open up and you're going to go to display adapters like this and it's going to tell you which graphics card you have in your machine if it's a laptop if it's a desktop computer whatever the case might be a dedicated graphics card in your desktop pc like mine i have an rtx 2060 just right click on it say update driver and say search automatically for drivers and just click on it it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed on your machine it's very easy and this is the simple way of doing it if you would like to do a fresh install of your graphics card just right click on here go to update driver and say browse my computer for drivers and then go let me pick from a list available drivers on the computer click on this and say next and it will do a fresh install of your graphics card now there's another way of doing this by keeping your graphics card up to date and your windows up to date all those nice things just to keep everything up to date on your machine is by just going to google itself or firefox or whatever the case might be whatever search engine you are using and type in the graphics card that you are currently running and type in driver download so for instance for me i go on to google i open it up and then i just say rtx 2060 driver download and i go and download the latest drivers now i highly recommend you go ahead and do those things a very good step to do and I highly recommend you go ahead and do this before you play Apex Legends. In fact, every day when you go and sit by your machine and play games or whatever the case might be, do this. Press the Windows key in R so the Run tab comes up. Or you can go to the search button over here and type in Run just like this and open up the Run tab. Then type in Temp, just Temp like this and press Enter. And then click on anything, press Ctrl and A, highlight everything, press delete on your keyboard, and say continue. And you're going to delete everything inside here. Windows is currently running this file right here, so just say skip, and then close out of this. Once you are done with that, you're going to do the exact same thing. So either here and type in run, or Windows key in R. And now you're going to type in Shift 5 for the percentage symbol, temp, Shift 5 for the percentage symbol, and enter. And you're going to click on anything inside here, Ctrl A, highlight everything, press delete on your keyboard do this for all current items and then just say try again once like this if it can't delete these things then click on this and say skip then it's going to be using all these files inside here windows is currently running all these files because i have a few things open right now so all of these files has to do with these things that i have open over here once you are done with that you're going to go back to this again so this is windows key and r and type in prefetch just like this and press enter say continue click on anything inside here Control a and press delete and just say do this on all kind of items and say skip because this is being run by windows right now okay once you are done with that you can actually go back to this i'm just going to show you the setting it's actually a really good setting for your machine if you have a graphics card so you go over here it says graphic settings just like this 
and then I highly recommend you switch this on if you have this option. Now, if you do not have this option, don't worry, you're going to add Apex Legends inside here by clicking this browse button over here. So you click browse. Now, I've, I'm a, I already added it in here, as you can see. So I'm just going to remove it and I'm just going to re-add it. So you click browse and you go to where your Apex Legends is installed. So mine's over here, Origin Games, Apex Legends. Scroll all the way down to where it says R5 Apex.exe. Double click on it and it will add it inside here. Go to options, go to high performance and say save and then close out of this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into the game, show you the best settings that you can run right now for Season 14 inside the game settings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Apex Legends right now, and I'm doing about 144 FPS solid. It's not dropping at all. I'm doing about... 37 36 degrees on my cpu and about 50 degrees on my gpu right now just chilling in the lobby all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this little gear icon over here where it says game menu and go to settings you are going to go to the video tab over here and make sure this is on full screen put this as native and then put this as the highest it can go to brightness it's your own personal preference depending on your monitor or your display that you're currently running field of view is your own personal preference i keep mine 110 because just overall field of view for me in general, I've always played my games at 110, but it's your own personal preference. This one over here, you can disable. This one over here on minimal. VSync, disable this if you don't want to cap your FPS. Disable this. NVIDIA Reflex, disable this. Adaptive Resolution FPS Target. This is if you, if you want to target your FPS. So if you want to cap it at a certain FPS, go ahead and play with that. That's if you want to do that. I put mine on zero, so I uncap my FPS. Go ahead and put anti-analyzing on TSAA. You do not want jagged edges on your game. Trust me. If you put this on none and apply these settings over here and go to your main menu, you're going to have jagged edges on your character. You do not want that, and you're going to have jagged edges in the game. Everything is going to have jagged edges. So go ahead and put this on TSAA. This one over here depends on the GPU that you're running. So let me explain it like this. If you have a 12 gig graphics card, you are going to put it like this. Let me just show you. All right. So as you can see, it's 8 gig, right? I have a 6 gig graphics card. It's an RTX 2060 OC. It's 6 gigs of VRAM. Okay. So I'm not, I can play it like this on very high because I have 6 gigs of VRAM, but I go ahead and put it on 4 gigs and my game runs perfectly fine. So if you have 6 gig, put it on 4. If you have 8 gig, put it on 6. If you have less than 4 gigs, or let's say you have 4 gigs, put it on 3 or put it on 2 to 3. If you have 3 gigs, put it on 2 and I highly recommend don't go any lower than this because the game's going to start looking really, really bad. Okay, so I leave mine just like this. Uh, texture filtering, I highly recommend putting this on times six or 16 times. Leave it at that. And this one you're going to keep on disable. Put this at high. The sun shadow coverage and then the sun shadow detail. Put this on high. You can go ahead and put this on low. It depends on your own personal preference. But I keep mine on high. Uh, spot shadow detail. Put this on disable. You do not need this for the game at all. Disable these two as well. And then these are very, very important in the game itself. For every mode that you play, it doesn't matter what mode you play. So model detail, I highly recommend putting this on high. Effect detail, just leave it on medium. You can if you want to put it on low because it's just the effects in the game. I keep mine on medium. Impact marks, I put mine at low. And then ragdoll, I put on low because I don't really care about that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the settings that you want to be using right now for the latest season. You're going to apply it and then the lobby is going to look like this. It's going to look really good. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And as always, peace out.